So guys, you already know I was live at the Passover feast. It was a solemn moment for everyone as it should be. You know, the betrayers and deniers alike sitting on one table acting the saint's script. As we all sat round the table in holy garments like angels, all I thought about was the food. And when I say we were furnished, I believe I speak for the whole team. God! We were on livened bread and bitter herbs the day before. Who exactly did we offend? Wait, before you judge me, no the job was not an easy one. Try walking kilometers on nothing but sandals under the scorching sun for days unending, talking to the scorned politicians, the sick and beggars, oh I wish I had some easies then. Okay. Back to the super, Jesus took bread and wine and dedicated to God as always. Yes the wine I was so sick and tired of these paheresies giving us cheap wine that tasted like plastic back. Don't they know who we are, we are the disciples, some of us had to sell our properties and follow Jesus for hot sake. What happened to Hennessy, really chilled Hennessy. I mean what was the worst that could happen, it was the last super for God's sake, the least they could do was turn the last super into a send of party before we wandered off to Judah and Samaria. I took Jesus to the side and tried to tell him and guess who stopped me. Peter, yes Peter, please Judas keep name out of your mouth. The man be acting like a saint, he ain't no saint. He denied Jesus three times, I rat on him once. And guess who is the bad guy? Me. The guy went on to cut a soldier's ear, who was he trying to impress? He be trying to get himself buried in the place of Christ and as usual Jesus repaired the soldier's ear but couldn't save himself, somebody explain this story to me because something is not straight. Guys I can't leave you without an exclusive. I heard after the master was arrested, he was taken to a holding cell and his cellmates included Jim Morrison and Tupac Shakur, just joking. 